All right, where are we going? I'm ready. Mm. Now I'm ready. What's up, socials? Welcome back to Amy TV. If you've been around here for a while, you probably know that I am on the road a lot. But if you don't, I own a couple of businesses and I could be on a plane for any number of reasons. I could be speaking on stage somewhere, talking to people about how to go after the life that they want, or I could be working on a shoot with our team at Aftermark for a client who is vlogging or doing some customer talks on video. So with as many miles as I've been logging in my career, I have learned quite a bit about what it means to be prepared and plan for a good trip even if that thing is completely business and we're just gonna make the most of it by adding a little bit of fun here and there so I want to share with you some of those planning tools that I use in order to have a great trip and hopefully they can help you on your next one. before we get started if you want to continue to hear more about going after the life that you want make sure you subscribe to this channel I upload new videos every Wednesday and Sunday here are my travel planning essentials starting with booking.com. I know what you wanted to say after that because we all know the phrase booking.com, booking doc, yeah. <laughs> I would say about 50% of the time when I travel, I'm actually in charge of choosing my host lodging. So some places they'll pick the hotel for me because of some arrangement that they have. But when it's my decision, I like to keep it interesting. Shout out to booking.com for sponsoring this episode, but I use them specifically for a couple of reasons. It's an all in one situation for me because sometimes I'm feeling like I want a hotel, like feeling a little high maintenance and I want a doorman. And in other situations, I just want to get to know the culture, the atmosphere, of where I'm going and an apartment or something kind of more quaint might be a little bit more suitable for that it's also kind of nice if you need more space and hotel rooms sometimes can't be that reliable if you need more space like if you have more people and stuff like that it's a lot pricier when you have to add rooms versus staying in sort of like a home together we run into that a lot because we travel with our team so we have a cinematographer and an editor and project managers any one of them could be traveling with us all the time Vin's with me on a lot of these trips so sometimes we need that space and so that's why I love using booking.com to find out what all the options are let's be honest usually hotels have the worst worst lighting ever and unless you're standing next to a window you just can't get that selfie so that's another reason why I like to jazz it up and stay in other places because if the pictures look just right I'll get excited and like think, okay, yes, I need to belong in this place. Make sure you check out the link to booking in my description box. There's a special credit there if you book through my link and that's a $30 credit on your next trip. Check it out. My next travel planning essential is the American Airlines app. This is simply put because I fly American Airlines and usually nothing else. It's obviously a little bit of a variable if you're traveling internationally, but for the most part, I can look at everything that's going on with my flights and booking flights in that app. Just a sidebar, you know, I shout out American Airlines. You can fly with whoever you like, but I highly recommend you choose one. And maybe that depends on where you travel to a lot. Maybe there's more direct flights to where you like to travel to a lot, or maybe you just vacation every once in a while and there's one airline you like the best. I do recommend that you choose one and stick with it because especially when you get into a situation like mine and you tend to be on a plane every other week all of those miles really going to one place is great because I get upgrades all the time I'll just get into first class because of where my status is and they'll have a seat available and they'll just give it to me and that's really really nice when you're on a plane a lot because quite frankly coach is not fun Okay, like let's be honest, coach is not that fun. If you're doing it every once in a while, it's no big deal. I can sit four hours and coach and be fine. But if it's like every single week, it starts to wear on you a little bit. So I really kind of count on those luxuries every once in a while. And that's another thing I'm looking at in the American Airlines app. I am looking for what my upgrade status is. Please tell me. I'll like refresh, refresh, refresh. Am I getting it? Am I getting it? Am I getting it? Can I? Please. You can also put a smiley face on and go talk to the agent at the gate, but if the seats are already full, you're kind of screwed. So 
My third travel essential is the thing I've been using the longest by far of anything I talk about today, and it is TripIt. TripIt is a web app and it's also a mobile app and I absolutely live for it. Mostly just because it puts everything in one place. So, you know, if, you, if you're someone like me and you have an assistant, it's nice. You can just tell an assistant, hey, add all of my itinerary information to my calendar and make sure the confirmation numbers are there and all that kind of stuff. But the, most people don't have that. And TripIt allows you to send all of your itinerary information, whether it's a flight confirmation, a hotel confirmation, you could be going to an event, maybe if you're going to a conference and you have some other kind of confirmation number for that, you can send all of those emails to your TripIt account, you have a forwarding email address that they give you, and it auto-populates. So that's great because it reads the dates you're going, it automatically creates this little trip for you, it knows where you're going, and I also live, you guys know how I am for calendars, I live for the option of subscribing to your TripIt via Google Calendar because it will auto-populate all of those times, all of those dates, all of those confirmations into my calendar. So I can actually see when I'm calendar blocking my day, what hours I'm gonna be on a plane, and I can even start planning around that in terms of, oh, I'm gonna write a blog post while I'm on this flight, and I'll add that to my calendar as well. So really understanding the exact hours of the day that you're out of commission, you don't have internet, or you're un unavailable for a phone call, stuff like that, I love it, and TripIt makes it so fast and easy to track that. It's also extremely fast, like over the top, extremely fast, at telling you and knowing when your flight is delayed or canceled. I swear, every time there is a delay of any kind, I get a notification from TripIt, and then it's like five minutes later, I'll get a notification from the American Airlines app. So I can already be five minutes ahead of schedule and in the know if I have TripIt on my phone. It's so great. TripIt also has a go now feature, which is great because it tells you when you should leave to go to the airport based on traffic at the airport, how long it takes to get there, how much time you should give yourself. It's always super, super generous for the Columbus airport and the fact that I can get there in 10 minutes or less and I can get to the gate in less than 30 minutes from my house. But in other places, when I'm visiting another city and I don't don't really know what the traffic is like and how busy the airport is. It's amazing for that. My fourth travel planning essential is Instagram. <laughs> Cause everything's on Instagram. So once I figure out where I'm going and in those pockets of time when I've scheduled some scroll time on my phone and I'm just, I don't really have anything to do, I will start stalking the city and the place where I'm staying so I can really get a feel for what I need to see. Not just like attractions, but maybe it's just like a pretty bunch of flowers or a wall or like a monument that I might wanna go take a selfie by. <laughs> You've gotta document those places that you wanna visit, otherwise you can be like me. And I've gotten into a habit of letting travel get a little bit too mundane and too boring. And when you don't th do things like looking for a cooler place on booking.com and getting prepared with all these other apps and looking on Instagram for some fun things to do, it's really easy to just let it get kind of crappy and you're just sort of in and out and you don't really enjoy the city. But I feel like Instagram allows you to really enjoy a place because so many people show you their point of view of it. And that's just really so fun for me. The amount of time that Vin and I spent on Instagram because we decided to delay our honeymoon and we just wanted to choose the right place, we spent so much time just scrolling and looking for places that we felt like were the right place. And we ultimately ended up choosing a resort in Aruba, which is where we're going in July, and I don't know how it's gonna turn out yet, but so far, Instagram's getting me real hype about it. <laughs> like, I'm so excited. It's exactly what we wanted in just a relaxing, easy honeymoon. I also love to let my followers on Instagram know when I'm going somewhere, whether it's for business or pleasure, it doesn't matter, just so they can tell me, you know, hey, what are the cool things to do? What do you recommend? What should I go check out? Especially because you know me so well, what should we do? And my final travel planning essential is the Mind Body app. It's really easy to just pack a pair of tennis shoes in your luggage and say, I'll work out when I get there. I'll just figure it out. I'll use the gym, I'll run around the block, whatever. A lot of people do that, but I actually need to make it a little bit more fun or I don't really make a point to go to the hotel gym. So what's so amazing about the Mind Body app is that it just allows you to geographically search the different types of fitness classes that you can go to in the area. So I just feel like this is amazing because if you're feeling Pilates or you're feeling yoga or you're feeling spin or something like that, you can just find a local studio and usually they operate 
so seamlessly through the MindBody app. You can just buy your pass in that app and then it's done. And a lot of places, most places have a brand new person special. And sometimes those are free or like, dirt cheap. So you can not only get an amazing workout experience and make it an experience instead of a chore, but you can usually save money too while you're doing it. So you really feel good about yourself and you feel like you're getting into the community. And yes, you should be planning your workouts because that is a level of success that we all need. Those are my travel planning essentials. I'd love to hear what yours are. Leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed these tips, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and also comment if you would like to see this more in the future. I travel a lot, so I feel like I have a lot of things to advise on. On that front so would just love to hear what your questions and thoughts are on that that's all for today socials thank you so much for tuning in I appreciate it as always make sure you subscribe for good vibes and remember to continue to go after the life that you want cheers <laughs>